so what are we facing here? Surfetched. Okay, I'm, I'm interested in the Surfetch. The Surfetch is going to be really fun to play. Um, he gets tossed up by Toxtricity. Like, he gets tossed up. I'm about to salad this dude with Tox. Yeah, no, he's, he's just a salad. He's a straight-up salad. Um, fake out in Sin on the lead seems really, really nice. Corviknight could be an issue, though. Uh, I think I need to bring Corviknight as well. So, my game, my we just, he has fake out. He has one fake out user, and that's uh, Togedemaru, which he has to bring. I, I'm very certain he's going to lead off Togedemaru. Um, I think my game plan is going to be lead off in Sin. Uh, do I want Insane Whimsicott or Insane Corviknight? I think Insane Corviknight, Toxtricity. And I, I, I need Whimsicott. I need Whimsicott, don't I? Yeah, I mean, Dragapult's also really important. Do I drop Corviknight? I think I drop Corviknight. I'm gonna do this. And send Dragapult. Toxtricity Whimsicott. I think that's my game plan here. No Corviknight for me. Funny thing is, Hydration is Lapras is hidden. Oh my god, he had the wrong, <laughs> wrong Lapras. Alright, let's get into this one. Does Parting Shot work on GMAX Hatterene with Magic Bounce? Dude, I should do that. <laughs> no, the thing is, it forces GMAX Hatterene out. That's the funny part. GMAX Hatterene has to, has to be forced out. Alright, um, I think my game plan here is to... I can Will-O-Wisp that... I can Will-O-Wisp that stupid Farfetch'd. <laughs> I'll go for the fake out on this bad boy. And I'll try to land a Will-O-Wisp on the Farfetch'd. I think I saw Khan Hire using this team on stream the other day. I'm really hoping he has G-Max Hatterene. Master Ball. Alright, so if I'm lucky, he is going for the he's going for the uh, max knuckle into the incinerator. But I have to land this. I straight up I have to land this Will-O-Wisp if I want to win. Which is this that's tricky. I'll give him that. It's it's really tricky. Alright, sick. You lumberry? I think it's stick. I think it's usually stick. Alright, awesome. Max Knuckle, yes! And now I can Parting Shot into him and get another one. Oh my god, that did like half. Wow. Um, concerned? Yes, I am very concerned. What? Was that? That was a crit, right? I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Was that a crit? Alright, um... I'm gonna go into my, to my Wimmy. My Wimmy boy. And I'm gonna try to drop another Will-O-Wisp on this, on this bad boy. Burn means nothing to the bird. <laughs> Alright, as we land the next Will-O-Wisp. So both of his mons are burned. Iron defense, interesting. Good thing I'm a physical attacker. Oh, dude, I can... Wait, no, Mirror Armor will, pre will prevent him from getting KO'd. That's a little bit annoying. Max Knuckle, that's fine. Max, thank you for the follow. I should probably set up Tailwind, I think. I could also just Moonblast and Hex into that, um... I think I want to Moonblast and Hex into the boy. I could also... I don't have Protect. Yeah. Uh, I'll Moonblast this turn and Protect. I don't think I need Tailwind. I might. It's gonna it's gonna be really close to that tailwind, I'll give you that. But what this'll do is it'll put it in range so it dies to hex next turn. Iron Head, don't mind that at all. And I can Gigantamax my Toxtricity next turn and knock out the Corviknight. The bird gives no ducks. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's scrappy. So he can actually hit me with that. That's really cool. 
That's one of the best reasons to run uh, Farfetch, is he can hit ghost types and he doesn't get intimidated now. But he's definitely in Life Orb Hex range, so I should be able to win this. I should be put in a position where I win. I have to keep it center or healthy in case he has the uh, Dragapult in the back, which is probably what he has. I haven't revealed Hex either, so that's going to be really fun to drop on him. Honestly, I think I KO with Overdrive, so I might not even... Yeah, I'm not even going to Dynamax yet. I'm going to Overdrive so I can get my Throat Spray. And I'll drop the Hex on this bad boy. Because Hex is going to go first, and it's going to be a single target Overdrive, which will probably always KO this thing. Yeah, Life Orb Hex. Because we also have Draco Meteor, and I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna like drop a Draco without a Life Orb. That's suicide, dude. <laughs> Get him out of here. You'd, oh my God, it lived. All right, that's fine. He he dies this turn anyways. But the Corviknight is most likely living. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. I'm really hoping I can keep my Dragapult. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Body press? Alright, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I, I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. <laughs> so I got my Throat Spray off. Uh, and I think this next turn, I have to... If there's a Dragapult in the back, which there should be, I should just go for my max move. Yep, there's the Dragapult. He already Dynamax, so my game plan here is to Dynamax, go for the max Stun Shock into the Corviknight, and Protect. Because what this will do is I have a 50% chance to paralyze the opposing Dragapult, meaning I always outspeed. It's 4 p.m., time for your body press. Okay, 4 p.m., time for your body press. Let's see how much we do here. I mean, not how much we, we do. Let's see how much we take from uh, the Dragapult. Because Dragapult should probably attack into the Toxtricity. Man just... Man just went for the Draco Meteor. Alright. Stun Shock. Hopefully I get the Paralysis. Because it makes it a less close game. I really don't want to have a close game. When I'm this close to uh, Ultra Bolt here. And it's Poison. That's, that's a little bit disheartening to be honest. TBH, that's a little bit disheartening. Um, I don't think he's Scarf. So it's 50-50. It's he's probably Jolly. Or he's probably Timid. Togedemaru. No. No. Game plan. Game plan right here. Ready? Max Strike. Switch in the Incineroar on the Ghost move. That is 100% my play. Max strike to lower speed. You clear body drag? No, he's not. Okay. Alright, that's fine. What do you go for? Might have messed up here. I need my... I, oh my god. This is going to be close. It's going to be really close. I have to get a Darkest Lariat right off to protect. Like, there's so many things going on right now. But at the very least, is at minus two, so I should be able to get my Hex off. I think I always double into Dragapult this turn. Because if he... Well, no. He shouldn't be able to... No. I, I never double into Dragapult. That's so dumb. I Hex and I go for my, my Flare Blitz. Because he can't KO me at minus two. I don't think from that range he'll KO me. Or no, he's at minus four. Yeah, minus four. And I win the speed tie anyways. We're good. Good game. Watch. <laughs> Incinerator's going to get fully paralyzed and just drop this turn. 
puzzle. Yeah, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed, I win. Good game. Nice. Oh, Sash. Whatever. Oh, no, he's sturdy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so many statuses. I just get the burn at the end just to say, nah, no, you're not going to paralyze me to death. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought that was like a citrus berry for a second. Lychee, though. That's kind of cool. Lychee berry is kind of cool. All right. Good game. All right. What do we have here? So, we have Sand Offense with Dragapult, Grimmsnarl, um, Gastrodon, and Rotom Cut. This is actually a really tough matchup, uh, but Corviknight's going to be my best friend. Corviknight's my best friend here. I always lead off Corviknight and Cineroar. His body press is going to mess him up all kinds of ways. And in the back... Whimsicott. I'm tempted to bring Gyarados. I think Gyarados is good here. Probably Dragapult. So no speed control. Just straight up eating hits with uh, Corviknight. what we're dealing with. Grimmsnarl Tyranitar. I could straight up blast away all of his screens right now. I could also attempt to... I mean, I could fake out Iron Head into the... into the Grimmsnarl right now. And I kind of want to do that because it opens up so many possibilities, but I also want a parting shot. I'm, I'm going to try to deny screens. I'm going to fake out Iron Head. And then if he goes for screens, I can win Rage. Yep. The Dynamax. I don't mind losing Incinera early, to be honest. But I think I might be able to take one Rock Fall from this range. Because it's minus one. I actually didn't calc for this. I really should have. I think he's got it. I, th I think Incinera's got this. That did a lot. Wow, okay. Iron Head. Cool, cool. Rockfall is going to do a lot. Oh, and we eat it. Beautiful. Alright, so something to note is the Grimmsnarl hasn't flinched yet, which means the Grimmsnarl did not go for a... Or did it already flinch? I don't know why. I, I, feel, I thought it didn't flinch yet, so I thought I didn't go for a Prankster move. Alright, so I always Iron Head and I part... Nope. I Iron Head into the Grimmsnarl, and I Parting Shot into the uh, into the big bad Tyranitar. Hopefully it doesn't go for the... Uh... <laughs> I'm really hoping it doesn't go for the Thunder Wave on the Incineroar. But I can blast away his screens. And then mess him up with Max Knuckle. Yep, there's the Reflect. I'll be blasting that away next turn. Parting shot on that Tyranitar. Get him down to minus two. And I can just bring in whatever I want for free. Because he should be going for another max rockfall. Um, Dragapult is ideal. I don't want to send in Gyarados because it's still going to take a lot. Uh, but Dragapult should be able to take the max rockfall and I can go for a burn on this Tyranitar now. Yep, there it is. Uh, there's probably an Excadrill coming out which is kind of concerning but I can just max knuckle it. Oh, wow. Alright, he went for it into the Corviknight. I'm pretty confident I have this game locked down at this point. In fact, I think my play this turn is to 
here's what I'm gonna do, right? Uh, I can protect my... Well, no, he, he has max darkness. I was gonna say, I can protect my Dragapult and ensure that I take whatever the extra row goes for. I might do that. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Dynamax max Steel Spike into the Excadrill, and I'm gonna protect. And this should make it so next turn I should be able to take an Excadrill hit and go for the burn on the Tyranitar. If he does go for the max darkness, it, it's whatever, because I, I still should be fine. I get plus one, meaning my body press is even stronger. And then next turn I can just Wind Rage. All I need is the plus one. Yeah, if I get the plus one, I just win. Because I still have Incinero to deal with a Rotom in the back if it is there. Yep, there's the Rock Slide. Organite Avoids, Max Steel Spike. I'm gonna get my defenses up a bit, and next turn I can definitely burn that uh, Tyranitar. Yeah, I should be able to take whatever now. The burn, as long as I don't miss. Yeah. I should be able to burn, as long as I don't miss. That's it. I don't have to worry about getting knocked out. Because I eat whatever from this Excadrill, and I don't need to worry about outspeeding the Tyranitar, because I just always outspeed that thing. I might get flinched. That's the only downside. The flinch could be annoying. But I'm going to Wind Rage away these screens, and that should just be game. Wind Rage the Excadrill. Burn the Tyranitar. Good to go. Iron Hood. Let's see if he gets the flinch. I need him to not. Sick. Got it off. Alright. So screens are gone. And now he just gets messed up by body press. Crunch, literally don't care. I am I'm actually just freaking vibing at this point, dude. Wind Rage is the only cool looking G-Max animation? Yeah, that's mostly just because of like the drones or the satellite crows that this guy has. Alright, so, um, I think I just send in Gyarados. I don't really mind losing Gyarados here, because I, if there's a Gastron in the back, I should beat it with plus two body press, and if there is a Rotom in the back, I beat it with my Incineroar, so it doesn't matter. So I always go for a Max Steel Spike into the Excadrill, and I protect. Alright, cool. Honey, 4 a.m. <laughs> Honey, it's 4 p.m. Time for your body press. Low HP music was fire. <laughs> I, th I think low HP music was actually pretty good. Alright, now I'm at plus two defense. I'm actually invincible. Wish I had Roost. But I needed to put Bray Bird on this thing to beat Lapras. There's the Rock Slide. Don't care. I'm gonna take like two on Corviknight. I took I took six, my bad. I didn't take two, I took six. And now I am faster than the <laughs> I'm faster than the Tyranitar. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for Power Whip, because I'm like 90% sure that he's just gonna send out a Gastrod on this turn. So I'm gonna body press into the Tyranitar and go for power whip into the Excadrill. Oh, did I just nay-nay on him? <laughs> we nay nay on him. Please let me land this. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> oh my god, we nay nay on that guy. Orvin, I just nay nay on this whole team. You just disrespected this man. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> He loses. There's no way he's winning unless he flinches me to death.
Alright, so I always just double into Tyranitar this this turn. Hello, police, there's been a murder. <laughs> Alright, that makes up for the last game, for sure. Waterfall, Tyranitar, beautiful. Get him out of here. That's the expert belt damage. I mean, we are at plus one, but that's still the expert belt damage, man. Get the moxie boost. And the rock slide. Let's see if he gets the flinch. Let's see if he gets the flinch. I mean, he's a life orb. He loses anyways. It doesn't matter. Ah, beautiful. A beautiful game. Wow, the freaking note card fell. The note card I used to block the glare of this light above me. I really want to make it to Master Ball tier before the stream ends. That's my goal. Facing Julian rank 10. What do we have here? Another Darmanitan that's going to Nene on us. However, he also has the horse. The horse could Nene on us. I keep saying Nene. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to have a... I'm going to have a Nene emote at some point. Just because I say it so much. What time is it for me now? 8 o'clock. Alright. You got the Snom emote, yes. <laughs> Alright, um... I think I can lead off Dragapult here. Dragapult for burning the horse. I really want to burn the horse, like, really bad. Um, Dragapult Corviknight. Toxtricity. And Whimsicott, probably. That seems pretty solid, but Incineroar is also really good. I think I want the Tailwind, though. We're gonna go with this squad. Dolman Nene, dude, the Dolman Nene emote. Alright, let's get into it. Mudsdale and Grimmsnarl. Beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted because I can burn the Mudsdale immediately. They never expect me to carry Will O Wisp. And I can just Iron Head the Grimmsnarl. I need to burn this now. Iron Head and the Grimmsnarl. I like that we're at the Battle Tower. I love the Battle Tower for online battles. It's a nice change of pace. Moxie him. <laughs> Support Dragon Ball's big brain? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, are you gonna Dynamax your horse? Watch this be G-Max freaking Grimmsnarl. That would mess me up. That would mess me up. Trainer card 666 versus 777. Dude, it's on. It is on, dude. Swagger. Ooh. Okay, so this was an amazing play. If I can land this burn, it's going to be amazing for me. Beautiful. Max Steel Spike's gonna hurt, though. Yikes, okay. 666 versus 777 is like 69 versus 420. The Battle of the Ages. Alright, burn on the Mudsdale's amazing, because I can stall it out if I need to. Uh, here I'm gonna protect in case he will o -Wisps, or, or not will o -Wisps, in case he Thunder Waves. But I'm also just gonna Iron Head into the Grim Snarl. I could Steel Spike. But it looks like this is going to be a Dynamax uh, Corviknight game. Reflect? Okay. That doesn't matter. Next turn, I can just go for the Max Quinn Rage. Get the KO. Yeah, Wind Rage should KO from that range. Max Steel Spike. Don't care. Um. I might actually save my... Yeah, I think I'm going to save my Dragapult here. Because Hex is going to be really nice in the endgame versus Mudsdale and the rest of his team. And I might want to burn something else. So here I'm going to go into the... I'm going to go into the Whimsicott. Because I can fake tears the Mudsdale next turn. And I'm going to blast away these screens. Thank you for the follow, Skull of Chaos. Yeah, Beat's theme is a bop, one of my favorite. This entire game is full of music. Everyone drop your favorite track. 
If you're in the chat right now, drop your favorite track right now. Beautiful Corviknight. I love G-Max Corviknight. It's such a cool Pokemon. You gonna go for a light screen, bud? Yeah, that's what I thought. Champion Leon. Here's his theme as a bop too, dude. Alright, so all those screens he worked so hard for, now they're just gone. Now they're just gone, man. Max Knuckle. Well, I actually did a decent chunk. I did a decent chunk, but I can start getting my defense boosts. And here, it depends what he sends out. Um, if he goes into a fast Pokemon, then I'm forced to Tailwind pretty much. Um, however, I really want to go for the, I really want to go for the um, big tears into the Mudsdale. Oh, it's just Corviknight. Yeah, we should be good. Because I beat that with Tox, so I just have to, I just have to beat the Mudsdale. And I can Max Steel Spike as well. So we'll fake tears, Mud Steel. And um Yeah, I'm just gonna max Steel Spike into the Corviknight. It might not make sense, but trust me, this is a, this is a good decision. I just want the defense boost for when the Darmanitan inevitably comes out. I I, I meant to say inevitably, but I, I feel like I messed it up. <laughs> nay nay on the Grim Snarl. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're definitely going to need Tox to beat you. Heavy Slam, that's fine. I really want my um, Whimsicott to go down next turn. That is, that's what I want more than anything, honestly. I'm not confident that Hex can knock it out from this range, uh, because even though it's burned and it's at minus two, um, I feel like it's Assault Vest, so I'm fine. The, all we need right now is to beat the Mudsdale, and then we just clean up with, um, we clean up with Toxtricity in the back. So I'm going to go for a Fake Tears. I'm going to go for another Fake Tears, going to go for another Max Steel Spike into the Corviknight. We're just playing for the end game at this point. You should definitely get rid of the Whimsicott this turn. Be surprised if he didn't. Goes for a bulk up with the Corviknight. Don't care. Still gonna mess it up. Get my defense up. Yeah, Leon's theme's amazing. They did so good with the music in this game in general. Alright, nice. He knocked out the Whimsicott. I was a little bit concerned that it would miss that turn, because it was it was really important that he actually landed it. And it is on this turn that we remove that <laughs> we remove the horse from the game entirely. We're gonna delete it from existence. Send in Dragapult, this is why we preserved you. We would have actually been in trouble had we not. We're in big trouble, to be honest. And I'm faster than him, so I might as well try to go for an Iron Head Flinch in case he uh, somehow somehow protects the Mudsdale despite it probably being AV. Go for the Iron Head Flinch. Here's the Hex. No way you're living that. Beautiful. And if I'm lucky, I'll be able to burn this, uh, burn this, uh, stupid Corviknight. Stupid, beautiful Corviknight. Oh, I think we're speed tied. I don't know why. I, I feel like I was going faster than it. I wasn't paying attention to what turn the Corviknight did what. We're both leftovers. All I need to do is remove Darmanitan or whatever's in the back, and then I win with Toxtricity. G 
Gastrodon. Okay, that's actually a slight issue here. That's actually a slight issue. Um, I have to go for a Will-O-Wisp. And I need to body press. So we target the Gastrodon. I land the Willowis, so we get some chip damage. Z knocks out the Dragapult. I have to KO that Gastrodon next turn. Don't you dare burn me, man. Oh, this is gonna be so close. He has counter Gastrodon. No way. I'm about to get messed up. Man has counter Gastrodon. Do you ever recover if you have counter? Because what's your moveset? Scald, Earth Power, Counter Protect, Counter Recover, something like that? Wow, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Um, I'm going to double protect. I'm going to double protect and hope that Boom Burst will put him in range for a KO. Toxtricity has to live, and I feel like he always targets into Tox this turn. Yeah, this man's got some techs. Get a bit of leftovers recovery. Tell me you went for Earth Power. Alright, yes, you went for Earth Power. So, actually, no, I, I, I kind of... I kind of don't like that he went for Earth Power. <laughs> in before recover, yeah. So I need Boom Burst into into Body Press to KO. I mean, is Brave Bird stronger at this point? I really don't know. Because what are we at? We're at plus two Body Press. Plus two Body Press, 80 base power. Versus Brave Bird with Stab. I feel like body press is still stronger. I need this to KO, man. Oh yeah, no, it's dead. We're good. Unless he has a berry. If he has a berry, we lose. No berry. Don't you dare flinch me, dude. Oh my god, that was so close. Don't you dare, man. If you flinched me, that would have been over. We win, though. I was I was so scared. I was I was extremely shook. Yeah, imagine the the alternate universe where you landed that flinch. All right, overdrive the win. Body press for good measure. You're not taking plus one overdrive. Plus one Punk Rock Overdrive is going to mess this guy up. That was a really good game. Flinch rate on Iron Head feels really low. I mean, it's 30%. It's enough to mess you up. <laughs> Alright. That was, that was a close game. That was a really close game.